So architects and engineers carry an immense amount of professional liability exposure. It is 100% professional liability in nature. Um, and this type of policy will provide them with financial protection for any kind of errors and omissions that they perform or fail to perform in the rendering of their design services. It can also cover non-licensed trades within a &E, which would include contractors and construction managers. Um, so again, it protects them against negligence, negligence claims while rendering or, rend or failing to render their services. Um, these can include anywhere from a design error to a managerial oversight, maybe not even properly documenting a change order, and making sure everyone on the project is aware of any changes, um, you know, providing improper advice, um, among other ones, just failing to provide their duty of care. Um, when looking to insured an architect and engineer, you want to make sure that you are getting as broad of coverage as possible. Um, and today's forms vary significantly across different markets, but some of the most common enhancements that you should be looking for include your waiver of subrogation, which we'll go into a little bit more detail, blanket additional language, including technology-based services too. Um, technology is, is becoming much more uh, relevant these days, and while it's likely not very common that A&E professionals will have technology-based services, some of them do, some of them are provided computer-aided design, um, so having even that ordinary technology services covered is a nice perk use of drones too, and also media liability coverage.